Hello, I'm Denise Baker. I'm a Research Facilitation Support Administrator at the University of Alberta, and I'd like to talk to you today about research project management. Today, I'll be talking about university best practices, retaining records, research project management, and any final steps. So what are university best practices in research project management? Using a centralized filing system to record, compile, and track the grant's key documents and activities. Review your project monthly. Be sure to see our separate training video on reviewing and verifying research expenditures. Retaining supporting documentation for audit purposes for the current year plus six more years. Please note, sponsors may require longer retention. For example, researchers with projects used as candidate foundation for innovation matching funds should be aware that documents are to be retained for three years past the end date of the CFI project. Progress reports to agencies are to be submitted in a timely manner as required. If the reports are late, this could delay next year's funding. And finally, the project end dates are monitored. It should not be a surprise that a project is nearing the end date. What records should be retained? First, check to see if a document is attached to the project on your researcher homepage. If not attached, be sure to keep a copy in your project file or binder. Be sure to complete the Delegation of Signing Authority form, even if the project holder is not delegating. The original signed form is to be retained centrally at the department or faculty level. Keep a copy of each form in your project file. Retain documentation for all authorized expenses not electronically tracked through SupplyNet or the Central Human Capital Management Database, the PeopleSoft HCM. Keep a copy of all other important communication, both internal and external, pertaining to your project, especially written approvals for exceptions to policy or guidelines. Any external reports, such as progress reports, financial reports, that are sent to your sponsor. It is also useful to retain a copy of the sponsor guidelines and a list of eligible expenses. What do we mean by project management? Monitor the expenses and the balance. Be sure to see our separate training video on reviewing and verifying research expenditures. Check for encumbrances. Review your eTrack expenditure details report for the balance in your account after commitments. This accounts for orders that have been placed but not yet received or salaries that have not been paid. There may be commitments that you have documentation for, but which are not yet showing as commitments on the eTrack report. For example, items purchased through corporate credit cards or interdepartmental billings, such as biochemistry stores, the bookstore, chemistry liquid nitrogen, or information systems technology. If the commitments will make the project overexpanded, you will need to take steps to correct this, such as moving salaries or creating a change order for an outstanding purchase order. How do we manage project end dates? Is your project ending in the next six months? Then it's time to decide if an extension is required or if the project may close naturally on the current end date. To extend the project end date, be sure to obtain sponsor approval then initiate an amendment request via the researcher homepage. Be sure to see the video on initiating amendment requests on the researcher homepage. Attach supporting documentation from the sponsor approving the extension, ensure ethics approvals or certifications are up to date, and circulate for the required signatures. It is recommended to start the extension process three months in advance of the end date for most grants, and six months in advance for agreements and contracts. To begin the process to close a project, ensure any outstanding expenses have cleared and any required transfers are completed. Recurring expenses should be moved to a new project or cancelled well in advance to avoid any unforeseen charges. For any residual funds, determine if they are to be retained by the researcher or returned to the granting agency. If you have any questions regarding this, please contact your faculty assigned research facilitator. For final steps, your Research Services Office Financial Analyst will prepare the final financial statement, if required, and forward to the project holder for review and signature. Once signed, return the statement to your Financial Analyst for institutional signature and submission to the sponsor. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this presentation useful. If you have any questions, please contact the Research Services Office.